we could classify pain into three groups, or that's what we say nowadays. So we have this nociceptive pain, where we are all familiar with. So for this uh, type of pain to happen, we need um, a lesion or you know some damage. We hit our hands, and then our nociceptors detect this kind of stimulus that is transformed and transduct and interpret in in our brain, and we realize okay, this is pain. And then we have neuropathic pain, which may be not so familiar for some people. And in this case, this one is classified as pain that is caused by a lesion or a disease of the somatosensory nervous system. So in this case, we don't need to hit or we don't need to activate our nociceptors uh, to have pain. And I think it's also important to know here that uh, it can also be a disease, the one that is causing this neuropathic pain. And again, I'm going to bring back diabetes because that's the topic that I work on my PhD. And then we have another type of pain that is a bit, um, you know, some people are in favor of it. Some people have some, you know, <laughs> some different opinions on that. But it has been defined as nociplastic nosy pain. And this one is pain that arises from alter nociception, but there is no clear evidence or we cannot find nowadays any, any signs of tissue damage that may cause this activation of, uh, of these nociceptors. So this would be these three different types of pain uh, that are defined at the moment. And it's also important to know that these ones are not exclusive. It may be that a patient presents with uh, neuropathic pain and nociceptic pain as well in different areas, right? Like it, it can be it can be the case. So depending on what is the cause behind this, right? If we if we see that, um, yeah, what is the lesion? If there is any lesion, if there is anything that can explain that pain, and uh, yeah. we can classify it in in different in one of these different groups.